back everyone. All year, children can have creative fun at the Muse in Knoxville, but for some children with sensory sensitivities, the regular hours may not be the best fit. That's why the Children's Museum is hosting a sensory night and our live anchor Katie Emmon is there ahead of tonight's event to tell us more about it. Hi, Katie. Yeah, hey Brittany, we've been having a lot of fun at the Muse so far this half hour and it's been great because we've had it to ourselves before the sensory night starts in just a few minutes here. It kicks off at 430. That's why we're hanging out in the classroom area right now because the families who are coming that may have children who need those special sensory accommodations, we don't want to be something that um, might freak them out or anything like that. So we are in this space and I'm here with Melina Pierce who is with the Muse. Melina, why is it so important for the Muse to host something like a sensory night? Yeah, so it's really important for Muse to meet families where they're at and really offer an opportunity to have a comfortable and welcoming environment that they can come in and play and explore the STEAM, um, the STEAM world and all the explorations of our exhibits and really play in our make space and all kinds of stuff like that. Offer that environment that's not really provided to them a lot of the times. And sort of explain a little bit about what that environment is going to look like tonight whenever the sensory night happens. Absolutely. So we're going to be dimming our light. It's going to have a lot less sound than we usually do and also limiting the amount of people that we welcome into our doors because that can create a lot of sound. So we want to make sure that we don't have any music playing. Any exhibits that make sound are going to be dimmed down. Um, they're going to have, you know, staff that's prepared for anything that can happen. And this event, the Sensory Night event, it happens every other month on the first Thursday of the month. If people want to come out, is there anything they need to do ahead of time or can they just show up? Um, so we are asking that families pre-register online at themuseknoxville.org. Um, and so our next one is going to be on March 7th, 4.30 to 6.30. So go ahead and hop online and pre-register if you didn't make it this time. Um, but we are asking that you pre-register so we can reach out and make sure you have the accommodations you need. Thank you so much, Melina. And it's a free event too, which is awesome and a great way for accessibilities, accessibility for families. Brittany, I'm going to go ahead and send things back over to you, but I will tell you, I say all the time that I feel like my job is a field trip. Today, it, I truly feel like I'm on a field trip and it's so much fun. It looks so fun. I'm a little bit jealous, that's for sure. All right, thanks so much, Katie.